Who sent for you? You did. You my food, yeah? I guess so. You spoke to my booking agent? No. Shit. There's been a fuck up with the schedule. You're gonna have to go on next. What do you mean? Come on. We'll find out. My name's Birch Stone. You may have heard of me. You do that cable chat show. That's right. That's right. You got it. I want you to stand there, right? When I introduce you, I want you to go through that curtain, sit on the couch. It's really simple. It's not hard. Don't worry. Nobody's watching. They're always watching. Wow. You're a natural. You got an agent? No. Good, good. Well, have a good one. What's your name? Catherine. That's a good name. I like it. You've got lovely skin. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? My next guest comes straight from the centre of the city, from Ishmael's fast food counter. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome for the lovely Catherine. Right. Come on. You all right? Take a seat. Now, Catherine, what is it that you like about wandering around the city late at night delivering food to bozos like me? What do you like about that? Well... I like the freedom of it. All right. It's kind of hard to explain, you know? Try. I like being alone sometimes. Although lately, I never really feel that I'm completely alone. It feels that wherever I go now, there's somebody or something watching me. Like you and whoever else is out there right now. And that there's no such thing as privacy anymore, you know? Haven't you ever wondered how many photos and cameras you're in? You'd be astonished. In people's homes all over the world, there's a picture of me, out of focus or in the background, walking down a street, looking in a shop window, alone, and it really scares me. You could be the most photographed woman in the world and not even know it. You're misunderstanding me. How can I explain? It's like when I see someone in the street and I think, what would happen if I just walked into that person's life and stole a moment with them? There could be endless possibilities, but we never do it. We just keep on moving and wonder what might have been. You know, people are very fragile. That's why the world's so fucked up, because we're never alone. And it scares people. There's so much fear. Yeah. Well, it's a jungle out there, isn't it? It's the same in here for you. You're letting them into your home. Yeah, but who's watching the people that are watching us? Do you like conspiracy theories, things like that? That sort of thing, things like that? No, no, it's nothing to do with that. I read in a magazine last week that the average American is photographed nine times a day. What is an average American? Is Big Brother watching us? I hope you'll be watching me when we come back after this short break. Fuck it. That is all right. Good story. Bit heavy. Okay, no. I think I said fuck on TV. I'm really sorry. Oh, don't worry. Bunch of arseholes anyway. But... They're your audience. Let me tell you something, Catherine. It's hard to soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys. Right, how much do I owe you for the food? 